Um, all right, so the situation in Afghanistan is racing, but there are still a lot of challenges, I guess. Yes. Um, what do you think the main challenges that currently to, that stops or blocks the education goes further in Afghanistan? Unfortunately, uh, I, we are in a war-torn area, so the security is the main, one of the main reasons that uh, it's uh, make the progress to be slower mm -hmm. in some part of Afghanistan. Then we have cultural problem, and then we have uh, not enough resources, shortage of the teachers in some uh, part of the Afghanistan that make in general education difficult, but also for the girls more difficult yeah. to go in some part of Afghanistan and uh, not have uh, resources like a uh, school, building, or even uh, like a uh, pen or chair. These are all the things that unfortunately we have the problem in some uh, area of Afghanistan, the Taliban has more influence in this yeah. area. And, uh, but in, uh, I can see that the progress is happening in big cities uh, much faster. Yeah. And I hope that the uh, governments and the people in the community willing to support this for the girls' education in yeah. other areas now. And if you have to pick one of the challenges as the biggest one, which one do you think we should really like conquer at the most, uh, with the most efforts on it? I think that what we can do is more about uh, giving access and uh, resources are the most important things that uh, okay if we okay we have everything's ready so what about resources yeah. do we have to use enough resources and this is a, this part I think that we we can help more but for the security I think that the government is working and yeah. uh, for the cultural problem if you're giving more showing uh, with example that what uh, if you educated kids can do yeah. the family will also change their their minds yeah. but uh, right I think what we can do is, is about resources okay. yeah. and uh, I guess all the girls they are really happy to join the competition uh, at the Robotex and you were also at the several different competitions so, um, what does it mean for these girls to join a competition? I think that uh, participating in the competition is always fun, uh, engaging and inspiring uh, to do and uh, I think we, we really enjoy it every time mm -hmm. that you participate. But in general, uh, when the girls coming from a part of area uh, to such a competition, it's a good uh, to show a representative of your countries in a mm -hmm. good way. And, 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 and also to inspire more kids that mm -hmm. uh, see we can do it and I'm sure yeah. that many other kids can also come and they learn and they can come to the same or come to competition and uh, for us uh, these girls bring more attention to the STEAM, uh, STEAM education in Afghanistan mm -hmm. and, uh, and the government's community and the many other kids will see them and yeah. they will be more interested. Yeah, and I guess that uh, will also help to overcome quite some of the challenges that are happening in Afghanistan, right? Thank you, yes, uh, my, uh, my colleague has already donated uh, some of the, the robots to Afghan kids and we really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much again. No problem, and uh, uh, what we can do is I think that that's, that's the thing. So these uh, are, uh, um, uh, I think that educational robots can help the kids to learn more about this thing, be more engaging, more fun and to use these devices to learn more about programming. To yeah. learn how to use complex or electronic uh, part or mechanical part, so that's that's uh, yeah. that's the cool about it. Actually, we met last year uh, already, and but I am really curious to hear your side of the story. How did you feel about uh, uh, when you get to know MakeBlock and about the solution? Yes, I mean. I, I we met we, we went to many of the different the competition, but last year when we met at the uh, Robotics International, I saw the uh, your um, I guess presentation presentations yeah. and uh, your uh, robot devices and yeah. the parts, and it was like low minded because it was so good quality and then our, well I mean also the presentation as well is very beautiful than yeah. any other parts that I have seen. <laughs> and I was like oh wow this is so cool it's so different and then. Uh, thank you, um, and also uh, it's very affordable for cost. Yeah. And that's why we wanted to work because I see that your mission also is education and bring it to the uh, different countries and giving to the kids in the schools, and that's what we also working on to bring the education for the kids. And I thought that this is, would be a good collaboration between my organization and yeah. your company to at least helping supporting the kids in Afghanistan, yeah. to giving them access to good quality of the. Uh, the robots and the content yeah. and the resources and 
and uh, teaching them and they will maybe uh, it, they will be more fanable for them but also mm. they it's more for professional yeah and so you're talking about robotics and resources why are you trying to get all these resources or robotics into education like uh, what kind of a role do you think they play in education I think that uh, robotics is a, is a model of uh, integrated of many things, it's a mechanical, electronic, uh, it's about science, it's about math, it's about programming. So it's helped the kids to learn about many skills. It's not about only to that the kids graduate should go to the robotics or go to engineering. It's about giving the kids a sense of the uh, how to learn how to to learn about their environment and plus how to learn to uh, fix uh, or complex problems mm -hmm. and then uh, they also understanding uh, how to work together as a team mm -hmm. so this is very important that's, that's why I make robots more excited at a young age to give the kids exactly and um, I think that's uh, so why we are involved and we are the ones to get involved uh, the kids in this and it's the future it That's is the future. Job. Yeah, is everywhere it? is going on uh, with the robotics exactly. and STEAM education. Exactly. Yeah. Tomorrow's most of the jobs who yeah. pay higher higher yeah. salaries yeah. is based on the STEAM and the education, AI, and yeah. programming and stuff. So the school that the kids at young age learn. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I guess to change the education is really a joint effort from uh, every part. And we're working with you. But there are also competition sites and there's also uh, governments involved and projects going on. Um, so at the end, uh, I'm just thinking, uh, if you want more parties to join this initiative to change the education uh, situation in Afghanistan, but also in a lot of other countries, uh, what kind of a message do you want to pass to them? I would say, I would say then that they have to invest on education and good quality of education, mm -hmm. and then uh, the most important thing is that if we're giving access to opportunity and resources to the kids all around the world, to boys and girls, they can invent, design, create things that they can change their communities and their lives, and also around the world. So this is very important that uh, international donors, community uh, governments, that they are working in uh, countries like Afghanistan. They, uh, as much they're helping education, but also they have to more invest on the STEAM education because mm -hmm. it's really changing the lives of every kid yeah. that they have access to that. So I hope that uh, they invest on the education, provide ac uh, access to resources and plus, it's help them, uh, give them opportunity to exchange the program. Mm -hmm. Kids go to different countries and they can see it and then they can learn some things and they come back to their country mm -hmm. and they can uh, build their communities. So we are basically just changing the future because they are really just the future. Yes, yeah. that's what we need. All right. Well, it was really great to have Roya here. And uh, it's also great to hear from your sides and your opinion, and your really good uh, will to change the education in Afghanistan, yeah. especially for girls. So thanks everybody. And uh, if you want to join the initiatives and we're here to change the education all over the world together. Thank you.